Hey everybody, just getting ready to go outside for a run on the roads today, but I've got some new stuff from Bandit Running Company in Brooklyn, New York today. Actually got it on already, but I just needed some summer gear. Uh, I, I know white is generally cooler, but I've, you know, admittedly had issues in the past with some chafing and stuff, uh, you know, up here in the chest. So I don't like the light colored stuff for like, this is an expensive race singlet that I could use for racing in the future. So I don't want to ruin it with like, you know, red stains. Um, so too much information, but that's why I'm going with black. But overall, the material is excellent. It does feel, you know, really airy, really breathable and very, very lightweight on my body. So I'm excited to try it out. And then some of the most solid socks, it sounds crazy, but like they just don't fall down. Like the socks are almost like compression tightness on the ankles. It does an excellent job of fitting your foot and then hugging your ankles and you know, your calves really, really tight. So they're not going anywhere. And I have particularly larger calves. So usually my socks slide down, but anyway, the stuff feels really good. Let's go outside and see how it actually feels in the heat. Not really going to do a review on it, but just wanted to share some of this new stuff I picked up today. so good in this tank I mean it is pretty much dry like bone dry and I'm about a mile and a half in on this hot sunny day not really found much shade yet and I'm just on the track now so pretty good I mean pretty good initial showing for this singlet as far as staying dry wicking sweat away it feels comfortable it feels very airy like I said I did get black so I, I know the Sun is gonna be a little warm on it but I want it to last, I want to use it for many races and I feel like black is just easier for me to do that, it won't get as worn out. We're not here to really do a workout, I'm just testing how the on cloud surfer feels at faster paces, I'm literally going to do like two 200 meter intervals just to see what it feels like at around like a 645, 630 pace and uh, and then we'll be out of here and I'll, I'll share my thoughts more again about the cloud surfer, how they feel and how they hold up for a heavier runner like myself in a future video. But while I'm out here on the roads, just figured I'd get a little bit of testing done if I can. All right, let's do this first 200. right at about 640. Maybe I'll go a little quicker around this turn, but overall they feel pretty manageable. Not the shoe I would use for this normally, but they can handle quicker paces for sure. 630 now, coming around the final corner. All right, 47 seconds on the 200. Not bad. I'm sure this top is gonna start to get sweaty now that I'm moving at a much quicker pace. Was even quicker 44 seconds for that 200 a little out of breath now so yeah just feeling out the shoes they can definitely handle those quicker paces give me a nice spring off the ground but the cloud surfer is for a future day let's finish this probably four mile run total that'll be able to finish this afternoon on the roads 
leg is feeling okay. No tendon issues right now. That's a good sign. Just gotta keep it up in the gym and hope I can really kick this New York City Marathon training block off without any more interruption. All right, everybody back inside and it's actually the next day. It took me so long to stop sweating yesterday from all the heat and humidity that it's just the next morning. So we're gonna wrap up this video. Just about four miles yesterday, I started to feel a little bit of soreness in that tendon in my hamstring and glute. So I just cut it right there. I was actually pretty much back home anyway. So I wasn't even gonna push for that four miles total. The 200 uh, intervals felt really comfortable. No issues there. And overall, pretty successful road run. Like I said, I've been sticking to the trails more. It's just been more comfortable for my tendons and things that I've been dealing with, but I'm starting to see that I can get four miles on the road with complete, you know, comfort, no discomfort at all. So that's a good sign going forward. Now, about the rest of the top, it started to get really, really sweaty by, I'd say, mile three. Again, just my heart rate was racing, trying to keep my body cool. I ended up losing about six pounds of sweat or water weight from my body. Obviously, there is no clothing out there that can really remove all that sweat and not get wet and sticky. So by a half hour in, again, it was just pretty sticky, pretty sweaty. The socks, again, did not fall down. It felt like a nice... Um, quality compression sock overall felt like almost a brace on the ankles which since one of the tendons in my ankle does tend to bother me it actually felt like it helped a little bit and the only criticism I'll have or not really a criticism but I would say that for me in my experience personally some of the tracksmith tanks or singlets have done a little bit of a better job not sticking to my body but that's just personal experience. Again, I have no idea how sweaty I was then versus yesterday when I was wearing the one from Bandit Running, and ultimately it made it pretty long before it was starting to get sticky and waterlogged. So happy with the gear. That'll probably be one of my race singlets for the rest of the year, maybe even into the New York City Marathon. I really just didn't have a high quality one that fit me well so far. So that's everything for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.